Hi friends, welcome back to the channel SciTech. In this video, I'm going to do the random benchmark test comparison between the, all of these three smartphones which I got right now. Starting with the first phone is the Realme GT Master Edition and second phone is the Realme X2 Pro. Third is the Realme X1 Max device. And all the three smartphones I'll be using with the high performance mode and GT mode in the GT Master Edition. Let's see using with this kind of high performance mode and the GT mode, how much benchmark score we can actually get in this all of these three smartphones. And uh, these smartphones, they do other different kind of processors, Snapdragon 778G processor and Snapdragon 855 plus chipset in the Realme X2 Pro device and the Dimensity 1200 chipset in the Realme X1 Max device. And let me to come clear all the apps come from the background RAM management. As you can see, all the apps are completely clear from the background RAM management. So right now I'm going to do the restart of all the three smartphones because that's what uh, most of the people that it asked me to do the restart of the device whenever I'm trying to do this kind of Android benchmark test results. Let me to do the restart of this phone as well. So this will get the really good accurate results. That's the main purpose of me restarting all the three smartphones. And right now the temperatures of this all the phones are kind of very close. Not a huge difference regarding the temperatures wise. You can see. So pretty close to each other in the beginning. Regarding the temperatures. Now we'll be able to see what is happening with the overall benchmark score. So I'll try to turn on the GT mode. So GT mode should be on. Let me try to turn on the GT mode. Yes. Sometimes it doesn't perform. Yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. GT mode is on. And now I'll try to turn on the high performance mode in the Realme X2 Pro device. Let me just turn on the Wi-Fi because we don't want any kind of Wi-Fi connection in, at this moment. As you can see, friends, all the three smartphones are enabled with the GT mode and the high performance mode and the high performance mode. Everything is completely boosted, right? Let's go to the home page and let me try to open the benchmark application at this moment. All the apps should be completely clear from the background RAM management. There's no application running. So same Android benchmark version I'm trying to use in all the three smartphones and same kind of brightness I did select in all the three smartphones, not a huge difference with the brightness and the temperatures will try to observe. So let's see friends how much difference we can actually expect between these Realme phones and between this Snapdragon processors and the Dimensity 1200 processor, how much comparison it can be possible. That is what my main idea of comparing all these three phones together. So again we'll be back after some time just to get to know the clear idea what is going on. So right now as you can see friends we got the benchmark results as well of the Realme X Max, Realme X2 Pro and the GT Master Edition after using high performance mode and the GT mode 6,73,000 and 5,81,000, 5,34,000 recording the benchmark scores okay and next thing is about the temperatures you can see increased highest 36.1 degrees and 35.8 degrees and 38.2 degrees slightly kind of higher increased in the Realme GT Master Edition just a little bit not a huge but if you try to look at the CPU score, CPU score is kind of 1,61,000 versus 1,54,000 versus 1,73,000. You can see how the difference is. In the CPU scores, the Realme GT Master Edition has got slight advantage. And in the GPU score, the Realme X2 Pro has got advantage, which has got 2,10,000, which is quite close to 2,38,000. As you can see, a little bit kind of difference, not a huge. But in this both process, you can clearly see what is going on with the GPU and 1,56,000 in the Realme GT Master Edition. So that's it friends, thank you for watching. This is a quick Arundo benchmark test comparison between all of these three smartphones. And in case if you're having any other doubts, let me know in the conversation below. Meanwhile, signing off.